Hello, my name is Dominic Underhall House and welcome back to another episode of Moonbreaker. We have made it to our final game in a cargo run. We haven't done this yet, it's our first attempt at doing so. Zach's Jakar seems brilliant for this. The sleeper mines are really useful. It, you know, AI seems to want to sort of take them out every time. Gravity disc I just love anyway, and currently I believe these are still going to be free. We've buffed them up to seven attack from two, so he's going to be hitting like a truck every time, and this is going to be easy you know, to take out units, take out captains a lot easier. Uh, we've got a few synergies around here as well, so the main ones that I like are Talia Arsenal, it's going really well. Just giving rapid fire to a seven damage unit is just two-shotting an enemy commander. Aria giving extra accuracy is perfect. Oh no, that's, that's for her. There is one that gives uh, accuracy to herself, but I don't know who it is, but then we've got things like Amplify, Bital, Snarling. Snarling is still my favourite unit in the game, I think, at the moment. It's probably going to change. It was previously Maximus, because I like the little jumping around, but I like that a lot. And then Quetzali is awesome. Let's see how it goes. Straight into our last round. <laughs> for some reason, every time it says game found, I'm like, oh, we've got an opponent, forgetting that it's a real... AI, it's not actually a real person. No, a I feel like a draft game mode or something similar to this would be really fun in PvP. Aurora, Bird of Prey. Ready, crew? So we've got... Oh, oh. We got well, these are not good things to draw first. So, Orbital Strike and Stasis Field is probably what we're going to be looking at here. Because I'm terrified of their... Yes. What does this do? Airborne fast, if not immobile, ignores soft cover while attacking. And it is ranged with 4 damage, rapid fire, 30% increased chance to crit. So we've got a small cargo of 1, plus 1. Wanna have a jam sesh? To hit there. Plus 1 damage. Um, I think I'm going to try and hide behind here. I believe that should put me in range next time. I'm also going to place a sleeper mine out here. I also could actually gravity discuss together. Get okay. I should have done that in the first place. I might have been able to move a little bit further over. But we've managed to pick up Scour another attack. We're up to eight now. So they've got... Oh my god. This one. Okay. That's really bad news for us. So. Here we've got a difficult situation already. We can't summon anything. So we're just going to hit like a truck first. I like when they fight Brilliant. back. Place another sleeper mine. This is what we want. Whoops. Uh, this is reduced assist cost by two, which is exactly what we want. So we're actually going to move over here, gravity disc these together while keeping a line of sight blocked as much as possible. So probably just to here, which gives us access to bombardment immediately, which we're just going to use because it's every other turn now. And we're also just going to stun there, captain as well. Annoyingly, we couldn't actually summon anyone there. Next time we've got six, so we do want to keep this because we can bring someone out. Honestly, I'm not Here's sure who idea. to go for. Stop. Each other. So they've got Disruptor. That's mighty inconvenient. What's this? Peacemaker Balam. Is that the one that stuns something every turn, isn't it? I don't actually like any of these options very much. Quetzali might actually be the best because it allows us to potentially move and get extra utility out. But is there a route where I can play? Hmm. You know what? I think if I place her here, this can work out for me. Because I can move twice to get a good line of sight. Get our range shot off here. Still adjusting to missed, but that's fine. That's not what I was uh, worried about anyway. Gravity disc here. Uh, we don't want that, so just go like Friends this. Forever. And then move again. I will bring peace. Pop a sleeper mine down over here. Think fast. And then move Breaking back around here for a second time. We could move further if we wanted to, but I think this is what we want. Uh, we summoned Quetzali, so yeah, that's our turn. So them going for this is... Does he, even have, he does have a melee attack. Hits himself. Takes my unit out completely. Okay, so we might be looking at trying to take out 
him straight away, which means that we'd need to be... Oh, this is a hard one. So, who can we summon? Missing Manteo, Amplified Baito. Amplified Baito does help a bit, I guess. We've got the Bombardment here, so this is easily the pick. And then... That's Tipu, so Tipu's going to be fine. I'm going to stun them again. So, if we move... to here... I'm like water. Whoosh. We can move in. Bounce like a little Ibarra. Eighty-five percent here, so we can get a little closer. Still got it. Okay, come on. This moon's Range attack me. here. Ninety-three. Reinforce the toxin. That's fine. We'll place a sleeper mine over here. A gravity disc. That way. We're going to move back over here. And I genuinely think that Tola Mystic Manteo might actually be our best reinforcement here. So that we can start healing in future turns. So, again, Bite on Toxoid doesn't do that much here. And we just need to be able to start taking things out. Lifeline is the heal. Eight. Okay. So what's this? Mikwani Thicket. We still not get, never got to use it. Uh, Tony can just be picking things up, actually. So I think here... Again, we're just going to be going with this typical... Take out the enemy unit. Place another sleeper mine. It's more scared of you. Uh, we're actually going to do this because I believe even if we move out of this, we still increased our movement. Although that could potentially get us weakened. My purpose glows within. Okay, what if we move to? Okay, so we're going to hide first. Move over here. Move to here. Grappling hook this. Get him on the thicket. Uh, probably summon. I hope they do. In fact, I think we're actually better off not summoning anything and just moving out of the way and restoring four health to our captain. Your strength and power. Next turn we've got Bombard and Stun again, so that's going to be really useful. I think we've got this, to be honest. Not a good look. Yeah, this is going to be a great Bombard. Getting all the damage, and then we're not too far off of potentially being able to kill their captain. So I think we can Bombard everything here. We can, so let's get all that first. I forgot that uh, McQuarney Thicket is poison, actually. That was the probably the wrong order. So let's get McQuarney Thicket over here. Just uh, like you're so, okay. Uh, Zach's Jakar probably wants to try and poke someone. In fact, Flat on the moon. If we move to here, that gives Jailbreak a couple of options as to where to move. So we can just melee here. We're going to stun here. I'm a showman! So what's our range chance there? That's twelve percent. Breathe in your power. Sixty-five percent. Let's give it that. Hey, take a break. Okay, we did miss, but that's fine. Place a sleeper mine up here. Drop it up, one. Gravity disc. Over 
there. Tona reveals your truth. Uh, nothing on any of these. Relevant. We have got one more move with our commander who's going to move over here. And then we can summon someone. So let's summon. Let's summon a few. So we go for Vital here. We're just we're on our last game. Oh, we're at max units. Okay, so Bytol summoning there was probably a bad choice if, we're, if I'd realised we're at max units. But that's fine. We can look to be getting a plus three attack on something. Still healing up loads. So this unit's stunned, so if they basically leave this alone, we've got it. Hang on, I thought they were supposed to be immobilised. That wasn't that what this is actually. No, if not. Okay, so this should be a disruptor. Okay, this is all good for us. This moon's talking to me. What do these do? Permanently gains poison, gain eight cinder. Feel warm. I mean, we're probably doing that wide. if we need to. So let's move into basically melee range here, just out of melee range. Go for the nine damage. Perfect. We've won our first cargo run. So I'm imagining other people did that a lot easier than we did. However, I really enjoyed that. That was a, a very successful run. It's a little sort of a, a little bit shorter than I thought it might be, but I'm really happy with how that went. So the advice that we got on Reddit was really useful in terms of just powering up our commander, getting those extra buffs, because everything else is random as to whether we receive it, things like that. So powering up a commander seems like a really useful way of going about things. Um, so as is tradition on this, so every time that we've you know, had a little bit extra time on a video or something else we want to make, we're looking at making a new roster. So we've got a lot of choices here as to you know, who we want to use. Zaxtrakar has been really impressive to me. I love the knockback, I love the movement, but I want to try another Astra deck, Astra list. So this was boost morale and into the breach removing stun from a unit. And then we've got so many options here. So one of the things I was going to look at you can't so I think we need a few more ways of sorting things so I'm actually gonna go for the smaller screen now that we've got a bit more used to what things can do so we've got a few different things that we've sorted out here we've got a few like a ranged option or something used than fire vital things like that uh, giving people basically a bit of extra speed and that sort of thing and I think now we can look at sort of a synergistic approach so jailbreak is gonna be one of the first things we're putting in I like jailbreak our actual first one is going to be Snailing. So it's our own colour scheme. This is our painted one. We remember we did this in uh, a previous video. Can't rotate it for some reason, I don't know why. But I'm kind of happy with how that looks, so I'm happy to put Snailing in there as well. So those are our sort of go-to movement shenanigans that I think are really, really useful. We want like a couple of things that you know bring things in together. Uh, switchback has been really good in terms of damage output. And then I'm thinking of maybe even doing something along the lines of either the Defense Dome or something like the Sentinel to try and get good angles, but we'd need to think a bit more push and pull in order to do that, which would be like a chuck and co kind of thing. So I'm not quite sure on that yet. Um, things with Poison are nice. Quetzali is really useful just in terms of positioning, so I'm just going to try a Quetzali option here as well. So Snarling and Quetzali is nice particularly because you can get into really close range, get almost a guaranteed hit and move on. Uh, some of the things we haven't been doing is getting the guaranteed sort of hits. So, giving a range alley 40% accuracy is something we want with Deadeye. Uh, on a similar note of that, we want to be able to give something a so the rapid fire. And I've got to remember who that was now. So, rapid fire was given by. In fact, I know it's not Broken Vengeance, but let's have a look. Immediate attack any rival that damages Broken Vengeance. So I'm going to bring in Broken Vengeance just as a, a solid attack. I think it might be... Det no, not Detonia. Drumdance is the pummel one, isn't it? Yes. So who are we thinking? We're missing something here. I've, my brain's just gone completely. I'm trying to remember who it was that gave us that buff. Tari Arsenal? Yeah, there we go, Tari Arsenal. For some reason I was thinking it started with D. So here we've got, like, we've got a few ranged options. We've got some sort of assists on that front as well and then I think I might like the idea of using either was it Fate Twister that's the guaranteed hit or guaranteed miss I think that could potentially be very useful 
Uh, the other option we're looking at is, I believe it was, was it Peacemaker, the stun, stun rival crew for a turn. I think this is a, not paint, I didn't need to paint, although how cool is that model? It's sat here with a little catapult launching on it, that's brilliant. So yeah, I think we want to try Peacemaker Valum. Uh, uh, the concern I've got at the moment is do we have too many things that don't do any damage? Because we've got Quetzali uh, and Peacemaker Balam, who don't have any attack whatsoever. And I'm considering putting in a third in the Fate Twister Tantan, but let's go for that as well. And then I think we need something that does just add a little bit of firepower towards the end of this as well. So I'm almost tempted with Crosshair, because Crosshair is consistently three damage and can even guarantee crits sometimes. So I think we're looking at that. The issue is, have we got any cheap things? So we've got Deadeye, Snarling is reasonably cheap, Atari Arsenal, okay, and Tanton, who's, if not good to play on turn two, in terms of act proactive, but something that could be, you know, useful in a future, you know, future point. I actually kind of like this banner, this random one. I'm not sure about the colours, but I like the, the pattern of it. So let's have a look at... Let's go for like a honeycomb-y sort of look. So that would be this one that we want to be sort of like a orangey kind of thing there. And then we want a sort of a yellowy close to it's close sort of yellowy greeny sort of colour there. So there we go. I'm going to like this. Make it more honeycomb than football. And what we'll do is we're going to go straight into a quick PvP game and see what we can do. So we haven't named it, new roster, and we're just going to jump straight in, see if we can have a nice quick game. Uh, just I'm going to try and play it a bit more speed than I usually do, and just try and you know, fit this into a nice reasonable length video so you don't have to sit and watch through hours of content. And then hopefully we can uh, get another victory. For a second then I thought they were giving us an unpainted Astra. I was going to be a little bit sad. Okay, double Astra. Tari Arsenal, Deadeye. If this is ours, that's... Okay, that's looking kind of good. Is there a different number of things you draw each turn? Who knows? Um, so if they've got Astra as well, I might try Orbital and Ion Storm. Corrosive Particles could be really good, actually, with Plink. Let's go Plink. I know I always use Plink, but it's something that I feel comfortable with. I'm happy with it. I like how it works. And it can just add a bit of a clock, add a bit of utility. You can heal, we can poke. And we're going to start by doing exactly that. So I'm kind of glad that they're going first. They are level 19 though, they've played a lot of this game. So let's see what they can do from here. They've probably got a list that's not just ridiculous and uh, thrown up as a quick little meme. Okay, come on opponent. Let's start using our emotes for the first time, so... Greetings from one professional captain to another. One professional captain to another. Okay. So we can mute people. Oh, come on. Let's threaten them. Ferg's gonna give you a big old smooch. So, are they, so they're going for a just straight deploying into the low visibility, so I'm guessing this is like a Maximus or something. If it is, we'll absolutely just try and do it. Yeah, it's a maximus. I got this. Probably. So we don't have any turn wonder boys, but we do have reasonable options here. I actually think we're just gonna hide. Make it really hard even for Maximus to get line of sight on us. Click our boost mail, see if we motivated. So we do get Fate Twister Tantan, who I think is just gonna run miles. In fact, he's the yeah, he's the guaranteed hit or miss. So he's going to stay at the back, the and we're going to start plinking Ooh. Maximus. Okay, and the, the corrosive is going to be really useful as well. Did get the hits. I got both hit. Was there any minus That's there? Your service. Not sure. But this is an angle at least I think we could hit in. So what? I wish it was a sort of a bit more obvious what the minus was. Uh, teaching the troops about failure. Okay. So here we've got a 2 in 3 chance of being able to play a unit this turn and save a Cinder for next turn. Or we can just guarantee it. Honestly, I kind of even like just just going for the uh, the boost morale. I got a child's budget. 
So our arsenal comes out, that is good for us. So, let's go for the... Uh, so we don't get much line of sight over there. Can we... Life is flowing. We can seize on the hunt. It only guarantees us one damage though. We might as well save that for a future turn. Go for the ranged here. It just says there's line of sight. Oh dear, that's not good. We got the miss. And we'll go for a plink. This and then we'll deploy Tyra Arsenal back here to keep us safe. Safe er from Maximus. So we don't know any of their reinforce, any of their assists yet. Uh, we have got Fate Twister Tanton who's going to hide just behind all this smoke, and we don't want to use seasonal hunt, so we keep extra cinder for following turns. So we've got our corrosive particles next turn, so in theory, we should easily be able to take Maximus out if we can get to him. This looks like it could be an orbital one. Oh, they've got corrosive as well. Okay. So this is going to deal 4 damage to someone. If it's our commander, we're actually kind of more okay with that. Yep. Yeah. Going for the rush. But that's fine. And then 2 more damage here. sweet. Okay, so... Oh, are they deploying as well? Okay, maybe we're not okay with this. Lysander as the armor oh, with haste. Yep, that was that was brutal. Okay, I'm starting to figure out their list. It is aggressive and terrifying. So we actually kind of just need to back off and deal with this now, but I don't think we've even got enough damage. So let's go over here. See if we still got it. Move back. We're gonna into the breach over here. All better. We are gonna corrosive particles, everything, although I don't think it really matters. Illegal. One win, one uh, bug. Dead eye, get your range in. Did I bruise your ego? You get your range in. <laughs> two. And plink S2. The best time. No risk. Um no fun. I actually think we're gonna put this slightly in front because right now it's not relevant and we need it to be playing defensively. So we're ahead on board, but we're down in life. We're going to have to play carefully with Astra. You can pet first. I didn't want to take any risks by using boost morale, but we're now going to be, need to start you drawing cards reinforcing. Oh no, they did have Orbital. I was really hoping that wasn't the, uh, the other assist they had, because like, you know what, I'll hide here. I was thinking what they could use, I was thinking it might have been the stun. Or the invulnerable, but either way, I think we've uh, shot ourselves in the foot here. Although I'm liking the look I of this aggressive Astra deck, so Boost Morale just getting more units out into the breach, being used to give them haste and you know, keep them <laughs> charge. I mean, we're going to die here, but it's less than that. And they get they killed something, so they get to reinforce. Oh, of course, I should have done it the other way around as well. I could have had an extra reinforce. You couldn't afford I always forget this line of text on reinforce when Astro destroys the crew. Look, literally. So, can Astro get decent line of sight over there? Not really. Uh, yeah, this is probably just game over, to be honest. I got a child's budget. Body and so we can, like, mind are whole. But it's even. Give the inability to miss. Move back here. Get our range attack. Got their range attack. So it's 100% to hit, which is good. But that's not good enough right now. And then again, we're just going to block more line of sight using this guy. We're moving as well. This has gone terribly. This is an awful game. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, Florian Lancer, yep, yeah, Bombard. Yeah, we've just messed this right up. They got an aggressive set of abilities, they've got an aggressive list, and they've absolutely run us down. However, I'm taking inspiration from this. They've got Broken Vengeance is aggressive, Maximus is the one drops aggressive, Astra can be aggressive, Florian Lancer just, you know, is good for finishing people off, and then these two are really good assists come out of this as well. We're going to bring out Quetzali over 
here. In fact, you know what we're going to do? No, wait, we need Quetzali first. Bring out Quetzali over here. Welcome the tide. Run as far away as we possibly can. And do you know what would be entertaining? Oh, we're one further away from into the breach. We could have moved this again, then moved even further. Okay, we didn't get it anyway. Good best choice. So reinforce jailbreak, boost morale. You doesn't do anything. <laughs> you can pet Ferg for luck. I'm even just going to ignore everything else that's going on and just die to. Yeah, corrosive particles and a bomb bomb. That seems fair. Well, guys, that has been a uh, an interesting game. We got absolutely blown out of the water. We didn't play around Orbital Strike, Corrosive Particles got us bad, they blindsided Esdly to one-shot a unit with Corrosive Particles, they used their Cinder really efficiently early on. Uh, they're just trying to take us out bit by bit. And then go for the big finish. There we go. I was thinking are they going to try and just like slow roll, but sometimes it's nice to just show you know what your hand is. Other times frustrating. Anyway, that was really fun. I don't mind losing to that, it's uh, given me a little bit to think about and what I can be doing from here. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, please leave you know, a like, comment, subscription, all those things, it really does you know, brighten my day a little bit, I appreciate that, and other than that, thank you for watching and have a good day!